Hey folks, welcome back to Mountain Core, a game that I am playing instead of renovating my house. <laughs> it's hard to stay away from this. I've been away for several days now, and it's been tough. Anyway, we finished last episode focusing on this new bakery, wondering why they wouldn't put anything in the oven. Didn't know that at that moment there was a bug that had worked into the game from the previous update that affected ovens and affected hauling water to the cauldrons so we had not actually been feeding our our uh, dwarves for a while i didn't didn't realize that so that's all been fixed and we should watch them hopefully grab buckets and just start filling these cauldrons up as well as moving these loaves into the oven we'll uh, kind of watch this for a little bit and see what happens i'm also trying to convince them to uh, what are you doing barley plant to move the ingots from that pile to this pile so we can start making hammers because we have got the potential of an orc attack coming in so I'll keep an eye on that but i want to watch what happens here we're going to take it up to speed two and so we're all getting our drinks it's seven in the morning checking our food checking our drinks taking care of all that and then we're going to go off and start our day which should involve cooks or chefs which you are not though you are a hauler and you moved the kettle in place cauldron was there somebody up here there you are you are not a chef either We're, there's my chefs so there water into the cauldron there we go because they're sitting there with food they're just waiting for water so they can start uh, doing the cooking and anybody sneak over here and do this? Not yet. I guess our cauldrons are probably first priority. Yeah, there's a barrel being moved over. What was that? Oh, I asked the barrels to go over there so someone's doing some hauling. Okay. Yeah, we're filling all the cauldrons up. We're doing some cooking now. Cooking soup. What kind of soup? We're cooking potato and deer uh, venison. And we are cooking potato and fish. Okay, dinner, breakfast is served. Potato fish soup. Mmm. Okay, anybody moving ingots now? Still got two ingots. Okay, guys. For some reason, we do have an issue here in that when you go to priority view and you can change the priority on things, this is the view, this priority here, this up arrow, is the priority of the palette. It's not the priority of the call to move these ingots from here to here, which I would like to take up to the highest priority to get it done. It's sitting at a normal priority, which is default to the game for all the items that are you know, being called to move around. This I'm asking at a highest priority, but it's not being translated into here. Or these would have been moved. To get this going, because we could have orcs attacking at any time, I'm going to hit demolish on this. High priority demolish and get that gone then we can get access to the actual items down below let's, let's see if we can watch this happen once this goes away that changes to the normal priority that is associated with the ingots but it's a layer below the priorities we're seeing here which is the palette so we can never get to that to say no 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 get that moved i need it now so now we should see somebody coming over soon and moving these guys as soon as a hauler is available and has worked through any other higher that just got shifted down oh no what what is that yeah why did that move it's interesting that didn't happen did it no two of them are still there wonder why they got shifted down that's interesting Okay, somebody wander over here. Get that done. Doing some training with our pickaxes, but I want them to be training with our our uh, battle hammers. That's what I want. So guys, somebody get that moved. Anyway, do we have bread cooking? We do. We got 13 wheat loaves now. So let's kick this up higher so we can get the chef to calm down over here and get over there and grab the loaves and put them away 
then they can start eating the loaves instead of eating the soups. They both count as a meal. Just, but they're all eating right now. Are we already... Wow, we're already at evening. That day went by way too fast. It did. Uh, carrying loaves? We're carrying loaves. Are we putting more loaves in? We're not. <laughs> we're going to bed. Okay, you do your things. Did we move anything? We did not. So how are we going to get that over here? I shut that down. Wonder if this pallet was built in a older update that had issues and has got that coating in there. You know, I'm gonna I'm going to assume that's the case and rebuild that. By the way, let's build import. Yeah. A new import pallet. I'm gonna start building stone ones when I think of it. To replace the one I just destroyed there. And let's let this happen over here and see if once we set that to ingots they suddenly all start moving. In which case that's probably what was going on there because we've been waiting for several days for that to happen. Usually there's there's a reason. We just got to figure out what that reason is. Anyway, we are day 11 of year 3. Like I said last episode, that picture that I saw of the orcs attacking was on year 3, day 10. So it, it, that's an entirely random time per map or per game. But we don't know when our first attack is going to be. So I'd like to get these guys in their hands as soon as we can just in case what did you oh you went to go put that away and then you left <laughs> okay guys guys come on guys come on. okay raining outside any tools laying around that shouldn't be out there rusting a lot of bones no tools out up over here, this is roofed. This never got done. I wonder why that is. It's so far away. They tend to work by proximity, by you know the closest one first. So it's possible they just kind of never get over there. This one has rusted. So within two years, this could suddenly fall apart and go away. So gotta be aware of that. Did this get done? This got done. Okay. Let's put a new one in. You import right there. You are highest priority. Get it built. This one. Let's, let's not get that built yet. Let's leave these guys still available. Like we can turn that down. Does it still show me? Yeah, it's still showing me the ingots. Which is being translated... Oh! Are ingots still in here? Wait a minute here. Ingots. No, they're not. So you guys are... There's three ingots here. Oh, I thought there was a lot more. That's just a graphic that means a bunch. Okay. But it doesn't say they're, they're slated to go anywhere. There's two sitting right there. Ten and three of iron. Oh, they're not mixing. And two of iron. And oh, okay, we've got a little bit of an ingot crisis here. They're, now they're just kind of throwing them all over the place. <laughs> oh, they're they're having a day. They, they really are. Yeah. Okay, let's get this built, guys. I need a, a stone mason with a chisel in his pocket. Stone mason. Who is our stone mason today? Right there. We need Folker Osman. Crafting plane. Oh, so you are also a carpenter. Okay, that's a problem. And you're sculpting an import pallet. There we go. You got your chisel in hand. You must have run up here to grab a chisel or something. And you are on your way down here to hopefully put this one together. Yes? Yeah. Now you built it. Now this pallet is following today's updates game rules in which case I'm going to call for these now we have tin and iron these only call one so it wouldn't hurt to say build me another one import pallet of stone so I'm gonna say it's not gonna catch on fire let's put it right there and speed up that one so this may grab just the iron or may grab just the tin in fact let's 
increase our chances here of getting the iron, which we have the most of, and just say iron and highest priority. Okay, so that is calling for the highest priority. Someone to please come over. I thought I saw something flashing. Now, please come over and fill this up. Now, do we have any free haulers wandering around with a sudden orders to hauling two iron ingots? Boom, boom. Okay, more? There's more, and we're up and running. Okay, so with that, we now have 12 ingots available to start building hammers, which require three ingots each, and I'm calling for four in old pallets that may or may not work. Let's let a... blacksmith wake up and give him a try. Blacksmith. Darby and Inger. Okay. They're all sleeping on the floor. Yeah, we got to fix that this time. Okay. So, Darby and Inger. But they're all sleeping. So, needing to fix that. Let's mine these out and take care of Mr. Fun over here. Fun Golem. Or tofu golem. That's what they taste like. Hey, hey, look at now we're we're bringing more over. Okay, can we start building? Looking for a Darby. Darby, foraging battle hammer. Ha 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 ha. Okay, and we have a hammer. Now this hammer may or may not be available. Come on, there you are. Battle hammer, so it's not being called to anything. Not being called to a weapons rack or anything like that. So I should be able to click military, go over to Eric here and say, pick up that battle hammer and go start training with it. All right. That's what I want to see. Darby, you just keep on going. Is that Darby? That is not Darby. That is Thora. <laughs> what are you doing, Thora? You are delivering. You are doing your hauler job. Okay, so let's get a miner over here to take that out. Um, high priority, make it happen as soon as possible. So I'm going to give me another battle hammer soon. <clears throat> We're going to bang one of these and that's it. And then they're going to see this guy. They're going to run shrieking for their life. And then I can go ahead and bring in these guys to take him out then we can start building our tailor shop and start uh, converting all of this hemp into something we can build beds with there it is who is going to get the scare of their lifetime come on now who is it who drew the short straw it wasn't Sigrun it was no it wasn't uh, oh I see these are these are military. Okay, that's why they're holding pickaxes. So who is the one with the pickaxe? Traders arrived. Okay. Let's go to the location this time. Where are you guys coming from? You're already nearby. You're right over here. So it didn't start at the edge of the map this time. And you are arriving with hemp. And, well, hemp linen. I, I keep calling it hemp, but it's linen rope if we want to build a cistern we could get one rope hmm also said bring me coal just to pick something to bring okay um let's get over here let's see what we're actually calling for we do have things to sell i put our our gears in there we're not going to do any more uh work on Although we could power this guy. That's a long way away. That's a long way away. We need to build a windmill over here. But we need extra linen to do that. So we're just going to run this guy in slow mode for a while. But so we can go ahead and sell these guys. They should bring a pretty penny, I would, I would imagine. And we still haven't hauled in the corn seeds? Guys, what is this? Corn seeds. All that. That should translate over to this guy, though we can't see it. That was one of the updates that stockpiles will now, whatever they're calling for, they will call it at the the uh, priority that you give it. Hmm. But it's possible that wasn't... 
Will it send a new order out, or is it just this going to obey the previous order? That I don't know. Anyway, that should get that moving again. But we're still building these. I turned the art artesian bench back on, artisan bench, to make... Let's see. No, I didn't. I to kick the priority up one notch and turn you up one notch. There we go. And you are, you can be set to there. So we can keep making gears, so we can sell gears as just a more, a higher quality item to, to convert into coins for us. Yeah, so everything's here except for gems. We don't have any more gems to sell. Okay, so we want these guys in at the highest priority. Linens cost a lot more. It'd be much better if we can make our own, and by the end of this episode, we'll be making our own. These guys at a lower priority don't need any more corn seeds. That's already turned off. And all the rest of these are turned off. So all we have are these, and that's really all that I want. So let's take you down to there, and you down even lower. So we don't spend money on things we don't need. But if we buy all the hemp and still have money left over, then we'll go ahead and start buying linens. Okay. Okay. You there, you there, you there. All right, that's a good spread between them. So they're going to be taking care of that. What are we doing? We are making sure that all of these hammers get turned into training. So settlers, military, grab a hammer. We're going to be the noble hammerers. And you're still training on this one. Magna Hild is... Yeah, where's Salve? Down here. Okay, good. Hammer, hammer. And pickaxe, pickaxe. You've already got your hammer. All right, we'll start weeding out all the pickaxes. You're going to be that one. Let's get two more hammers built, then we'll turn this off. There's another one. As soon as somebody picks one up, we'll have an empty pallet. So let's get you headed over for your hammer. Hammers are good for the the undead dwarves that you find much, much deeper. And I've heard that there is a really, really scary monster even deeper into the game. They're kind of based on distance away from your starting point. They call it Worm. I, I, I don't even want to know what it looks like. Why are we in combat? Oh, the fungal and got away. Oh, I didn't even, re didn't even think about that. I forgot about him. Okay, let's just do a real quick uh, attack this guy. Thanks, guys. He'll go over there and, and punch a elephant or something. That'll be the end of him. All right. Now, you're going to scare everybody away, including all of our traders, aren't you? Yeah, well, there's our... Where'd he go? Fungal. There you are. He went up that way. And there goes our, our army. I... Think, unless these are farmers, but they sure are chasing them. That must be our army. Okay, so anyway, our hemp is coming in. You came with not a lot of hemp, but what you did come with, we bought it. So now we're buying linen. Great. And you're over here. We're down to two military chasing you because it's time to go to bed. We don't fight in the dark. <laughs> and I think we're done. Yeah, we're, we're going to bed. Yeah. We're not hardened warriors yet. We're still newbies. All right. We bought one linen. We bought three hemp. And while it is nighttime, let's start planning something. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. You can go six wide. But opening this up, we're now a lot wider, though it's a natural opening, so it doesn't count toward that count. But exactly where the natural opening ended can i see that with the roofs i can so that is considered a natural roof okay so one two three four so these could collapse except we, if i go further down this fourth one could so let's get let's get a wall in here so that we match the same pattern and whatever's left over will go into the next split like we're building right here so a wall down through here with the opening in it and that will support this area that we can keep building down and we can go ahead and turn this into 
our linen production area. So, uh, let you run on slow speed. Though it's going to kick to four speed on me without me noticing. Um, building, wall. We're going to sandstone in here. So let's see if that's available. Stone. No stone is available. Really? Let's take you down to speed one. Sandstone, stone over here. That must mean that it's all being called for. Um, three are assigned to doors. One is assigned to a granite door. You have got eight over here and four are assigned to a door. Oh, so we're building all these doors up in here to try and make rooms for them. And it's just killing us. Yeah. Let's do some canceling. Cancel these doors. We'll put them in later when we can afford to, but right now let's keep the stones available. I should try to plan for things like doors when I've got a bunch of materials already in surplus and ready to go. So that should then give me my build wall. Yeah, now we've got plenty. Sandstone. Alright, so we're going to build you like so. Though, wish I knew... Okay, we'll put a wall between. Let's make a walkway through here and through there. Okay, so let's mine you and let's build no sandstone left. So we'll go to any. We'll see what's available by the time they get to this point. Build you and you. So opening there, opening there. And let's go ahead and set up some mining orders through here. Um, don't want to go too far before this wall is built. i got to figure out where to make an opening. <clears throat> so mine, at the very least, through there. Probably going to want an opening. Well, that's a wall over here. It's an opening there. Cut through, opening there. Yeah, it cuts through, an opening there. That's good. We'll put doors in these. All right, so you're going to run through. Fungulum came back, and now we're finally going to deal with them with our hammers. And there's one pickaxe there. <laughs> you guys have a ball. These newer ones that we just um, drafted, they're, they're not very good yet. So it's going to take them a while to figure it all out. Anyway, I want you to be a textile workshop. For now, we'll grab that space. Out of this, we need a retting tank. That's a doorway there, so the tank can be here. We need at least two looms. One, two. And then we need an import pallet for the hemp. Actually, the, the hemp that comes out of the retting tank. So the retting tank becomes actually the import pallet for the hemp. What it makes, I forget the name. Uh, processed hemp. I'll call it that. Then lands in the pallet. And what out of the pallet comes a stone, any kind, becomes linen. Or comes rope. So punching out one more row here ought to be enough for what we're doing. Okay. Now this could be another set of walls like that. That means that this wall can go away wall so the next wall is over here so dig that becomes an opening that becomes an opening that's a wall yeah that all works good okay so let this run we'll give you guys a heightened sense of of priority to get the job done and a much much more sense of priority on these walls to get this supported as well as building everything in there. Okay, so that's that happening. How are we doing on, first of all, Fungulum? I'm guessing that that is done. We've not hauled, oh, we have hauled. And notice the difference in color. So you're being butchered and you're, uh, uh, you're not green. The green one must be rotten, and so they won't butcher it. Now, I've been told that there is a way to move rotten out of your stockpile. I searched once and I couldn't find it anywhere. There's also a way to move rust 
to a special place so you can put rusted tools near your entrance because that's what the orcs want to steal is anything of value or else you take them down i have not found any sense of so just looking at the food oh why did that get turned off that's interesting fungal and mushroom meat maybe it didn't exist when i made this this uh, stockpile okay we know that we don't want these death cap mushrooms in our food but is there a way to say yes or no on rotted things i don't think there is corpses undead now there's no sense of it and there's no sense of it here i don't know where else to go so I, I'm, I've heard it, but I don't see it. So it must not exist. Anyway, you are going to be butchered. I haven't seen a lot of fish coming. Well, I guess that's not true. There's there's a few fillets in there. So I guess fish are still happening. Okay. Definitely the bones and the evidence that is happening. So someone's going to walk over here and fillet this, this guy. And I don't know if we want to watch that, do we? <laughs> uh, we're going to go over to this one. Oh, we got to... But we're going to work on this guy. Are we... Interesting. Now we're going to work on this guy. Yeah, there's a little bit of a bug to work out there. But we're done. Now we are a crate of fungal and mushroom meat. Mm-hmm. Anyway, what's happening here? Two of those, we've already hauled the hemp away. Have we built the redding tank? Is that why we've hauled it away? No, we haven't. But it is being processed. Okay, I need to make sure that blocks are happening. What are you? We're getting down to very few in blocks. Let's kick the priority up on the blocks. Make sure that's a thing. And this guy, so that our stonemason, which how many do we have? Stonemason, we have the two. Do we grab a third? The stonemason makes the blocks as well as builds the walls. So if the stonemason's always sitting in here, then they're never down here building the walls. So if I put this on the highest priority, I may be locking them in. Although we do need to get people hauling the stones. Do we have stones? Oh, okay. So when things aren't working, just start backing yourself up down the chain. Yeah. We know we have a place to build the blocks, but do we have the raw materials to make the blocks? And we don't. Do we have a pallet for these gems? We don't. Interesting. What are you? You are an export pallet that's not been claimed. You are now a, a uh, gem export pallet on highest priority, so maybe we can still get them into this space right here and get that turned into a bunch of gold. Let's see if that's possible. Boom. Just like that. Oh, you got something for me to do? You betcha. I'll dive over here even though it's getting dark and it's too late and no one's ever going to haul this over there. Yeah. You are set to the... Now the highest priority, which should transfer over to those items. But nobody's looking for a new job right now. They're all on their way to bed. So it's probably too late for this trade. Is there anything that we want them to bring with them next time? Because we're calling for it. We did buy... We bought 12 coal. <laughs> okay. All right. We, we did. There's still plenty of linen there, but it's more expensive than the coal, I'm guessing. 12 coal is a value of 8, so less than 1 per. Whereas these guys, 2 linen is a value of 2.6, so 1, 3 per. This is more like... I don't know, 0.8 or something. So that's why they, they kept going this route every time we didn't quite have enough to go to this, even though the priority was higher. Though if we could sell those gems, we would get another one of these. All right, well, that's that. You let this thing run, and we are working in this area. We've got an import pallet of linens, so we get that going, though we could do one rope. Is that all we're lacking here? 
Not really, but it will be once we get things moving again. So I need stones. Yeah, let's go ahead and set this for rope. Right there. Get one rope made first, then everything else will go into linens. All right, so I need stone. Where do I want to just start busting through? We got the walls built. Okay, no sense, no chance of a collapse now. You are not a higher priority. That's why you got missed. Let's take these areas out. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six wide. We'll go into there. We'll take this down a little bit further. We'll take this down to match. And let's see where we land at that point. This is going to be a wall. That's going to be a wall. I just didn't want to commit the blocks yet. That'll be a wall. So no punching doors through anywhere in here. So door goes through there. And no doors here at all. I should probably kick that wall down to here and make this a pathway through. Yeah, I think so. You are going to go there. And let's make sure that this happens. Just got to thinking, were you guys... Yeah, that, that attack order canceled you back to training because you got your, uh, your target. Okay, so let's move all of this up in priority and get it done and get some blocks made so that our, our uh, stonemasons can get back to work making blocks again. And making pipes? How are we doing pipe-wise? We've got all the spaces filled in here and there. Okay, that's all done. And these guys left. The gems never got moved. So we have four gems sitting right there. Maybe we'll find more gems in here. Alright, so over here, purple helmet mushroom log, Miltonium mushroom logs. Lots of food coming in that way. Lots of mushrooms, and that's it. <clears throat> I'm not seeing carrots or potatoes. Oh, they're in bags. Barley, so potato bags, lots of barley bags. What are you? You're flour. You are more potatoes, so we got plenty of potatoes. You are carrots. Oh, so the orange is carrots, 30 carrots. So we got plenty of food. Food right now is sitting at five to 600. Okay. Uh, we are harvesting barley, which is it has to do with making beer. So, got to think about getting into that one of these days. Right now, let's get this system up and running. What's it going to take? We need more blocks. We need we need miners. That's what we need. So right now, miners we have three available, and they are all on farming duty first, or they are on stonemason duty. Mm hmm. We have plenty of food. Let's swap you two out. You are now going to be... Let's take you down to nothing. Take you to mining. Take you to farming. Then take you to hauling. Alright, so you're going to be mining first now. So that we should see something here trigger here pretty quick. Once you finish whatever task you're on at the moment, let's go ahead and speed you up again. There you are. Okay. So, that got that going. You are a loaf of bread. Why are you a loaf of bread? <laughs> I have no idea. Alright, so we are building these guys. Since we're not really building wooden pallets anymore, so that does free up some wood. Ah, uh, there you are with the miner's helmet on. That's That little thing right there is a light. That's why some of these guys glow when they, they move around on their own. I wish we could build torches. I wish I could equip them with torches so they could all light up as they move through some of these places. That would be kind of fun. Anyway, you did one, and you are hauling barley. Because all the gardening stuff is set to a highest priority, but these are not. Okay, so I guess we will have to defeat that by doing that and just get all this done. I need the blocks, but I can't reset you now. You're just going to have to haul that barley. So somebody got that loaf of bread. It's gone. You are 10 ingots. This thing can't share. It's either iron or tin, but it's not both. That's why these guys are still sitting here. We could turn this back on. There we go. Ingots, any. And... We'll match these other priorities. 
and this guy should now get sent to the granite import pallet of this guy. Pallet doesn't say what number. Something like that. Uh, yeah, now we're mining like crazy, though as soon as I say that, you want to go get a drink of water. We are getting toward the end of the day again. But we have blocks again. And they're getting hauled. And we're making stones. As soon as this lands in... In... Here, okay. Are you no longer calling for... What are you calling for? You're calling for rough stone boulders. You went into here, then you dropped into there. Let's, for now, get rid of this. Now the pallets are going to call them directly. No middleman. And that should get these moved quicker and right into where we need them. Then they can start making blocks again. Stockpiles in between the item location and the pallet tends to be a problem if you're in a hurry. If you have plenty of time, then the haulers will eventually get there and take care of it all. But if you're in a hurry, then that is a problem. Looking for tools left outside. Nothing in the immediate vicinity. Good. Okay, what did we get done? We want here hemp fiber. And I set two of them just to kind of get it done that much quicker. You guys waiting for a bunch more wood to be cut. Do we have logs coming in? Where is that? Here? We do not. So that's slowing down that process. We have a bunch of chop orders. Do we have axes? We have two available right now. Okay. So let's increase the priority on these so that whoever set for carpentry will, or for wood cutting, will get in there and get it done. Whoever set for hauling will get in there and get these done. Okay, get those hauled in. So our woodcutter, who will be out there chopping, unfortunately, when he comes in, can get to work working on these because all of these boards must be assigned to somewhere. Three assigned to a bed, another one assigned to a bed. So we got a bunch of beds that are going to start popping. Oh, there's a real bed. Oh, nice. So these were set as the highest priority just to get something done, but the other ones aren't being done, even though the, the linen is sitting here because there's no boards available. Chisels on the ground. Not being called anywhere because we don't have a tool stockpile. So now they're available for the first stonemason to go and pick up and start working on a project. All right, down in here, writing tank. We need more. We have blocks available. These guys. Let's, for this group right here, kick that up. And that will suddenly translate into these three with becoming a highest priority and get them filled as soon as possible. That should then... Waiting for Osmond to come back and start uh, cutting up blocks. There we go. Dropping off more blocks. Ah, oh, there we go. That's full. Okay. Turning them into blocks. Making blocks available for something like this. One available. And Folk left. Folk, where are you? Okay. Because Osmond took over. Osmond took over. And now we have three available. And Osmond's going to make me two more. And now we have four available. Now, as soon as that gets... Oh, and now it's been assigned. So now someone's going to grab those four and start building this. Once that's built, we need to fill it with water. And then they'll start hauling all the hemp over. Unfortunately, we can't get the hemp over here ahead of time. Unless I were to build a... I could do that. Let's minus in that space and then put in a stockpile for raw materials and in that space we're going to put in nope that would be a granary hemp bundle right there so that one yeah at the highest priority we should start getting all of these guys moved Hmm, didn't translate over as high as priority. thought the stockpiles were doing that now. 
Oh, we'll do it ourselves manually. So that guy gets moved down over there into this space, which then gets tossed into here as soon as it's built. And our two wheat loaves are still sitting there. How are our loaves doing? We've now got 13 and 1. 13 in there. 27 more, so we're still making them. Foods are... Did happen. Now they need to get back. Kick you guys up. Get that done. Come on now. Kick these up. What should be happening at the rate of the kitchen, which is highest. That's odd. Hmm. All of our bones have moved down into here. 10, 10, and 10. Uh, medium, small, small. Kick this priority up. Let's get back to making arrows. Yeah. So whoever's set for artisan work, which is which is the same one that does the tailoring work, if I remember right. I, I linked these two together. So that we can just go back and forth. That was the idea. So is not busy right now is what I was trying to get to. Could be making arrows. Which turns into fletching. Which is where? That's down here. Fletching. That is kicked up. Waiting for more arrows. Plenty of wood. To turn in. Or more arrowheads. To turn into arrows. To get back into our trading sales palette. Yeah. I'm trying to remember the words. <laughs> okay. So you plus plus there we go like so and minus so that is good oh we're in kick your priority up let's get you filled and we need hmm we have an opening there okay so this is going to be a wall we have an opening here someone's on the way over to do it this becomes a doorway this becomes a wall Right. Now we have plenty of stones available. Pallets are filling up. Look at all the blocks. Now it's working. Logs are coming in. So we need to get our carpenter. Unfortunately, our carpenter was also our stonemason. Both, both ways. Yeah, that probably wasn't good planning, huh? Hmm... Okay, well, can't really fix it now. They're, they're too well trained. Having the carpenter as the stonemason, as a backup stonemason, is probably not a great idea. We are training with our pickaxes. Let's get you switched over to a hammer, that one. And you switched over to a hammer, that one. And we have one extra hammer now. So let's stop making hammers. Oh man, I didn't stop in time. Okay. You are no longer a hammer. <laughs> you are a shield. Let's get two shields going. And let's get two plate armors going. What else is there? We're not going to do crossbows yet. Could do swords. Could do battle axes. But we've got all these hammers right now. So next wave's immigrants. Next wave of immigrants. We'll get four more battle hammer-ers. And then we'll start trying uh, training up another group. Anyway, let's get uh, those being made instead. And ingots, we still got 20. We're still making them quite fast. We got plenty of hematite. We don't have plenty of hematite. Red, we're making some more. Otherwise, we need to start specifically mining it out. Yeah. Um... Let's do something like cutting through every other so we have support walls. And there, and like that. Then we'll fill those in with walls after they mine them out. But we're still working down here right now. So what goes in here? What are we lacking? So we're done that, that, done that one, done that one, that one, that one. Leather? Leather, that's right there. Kitchen, refinery, feasting hall, farm. 
We've not done brewing, but that's going to be way up over there. we got our barracks. We've got everything now. I think we do. So we don't need to go any further down here unless we're going to do stockpiles. You know, long-term storing of, of ingots and things like that. Okay, so the brewery can be up in this area. And I've just noticed in those elephants there. As soon as we've got our military trained up and we've got them in um, plate armor, and then we can send them out to start attacking the more difficult beasties. But not yet. Um, well, now it's dark. I was going to go see if animals are respawning or if that's even a thing. Not sure. Uh, one, two, three, six beds. We should think about beds through here. But not that they're laying in them. Kind of late there. Um, we could build a little rooms for our soldiers down in here. That's not a bad idea. Is that a distraction right now? What are you? You are the leather working station. Oh, so we have leather right here to make hides into leather, but we're not actually working it yet. Okay, so we need a kitchen knife. Let's get that built. You're there. You're right there. Kick you up. Take you, all the rest of you, or actually you can go there and you can go there. So we'll kick you up and we need ingots. There's two of them there. A kitchen knife shouldn't take more than two. Takes one. So do I need to say... I need to do that. Okay, I see. Let's, I'm curious. Take you down to there. Switch you over to this. Now, you transferred to that also. So, what you set the pallet for transfers over to this. What are you? You're an empty. Forge. Just needs wood and ingots. Yeah, so we don't need another one here. So that was an extra. <clears throat> So why did I... Oh, I built that in case we wanted more than one kind of ingot. That's what it was. But we're not that far ahead on ingots to be able to be able to do that. Okay. You're making more of these. Good. We can keep making more iron. We now have four available of you. We have 17 available of you. We are bringing in wood. Let's kick that up a notch. And... Take one of you up a notch, and let's set these guys for pallet or for planks, just to give us plenty of storage space. What were the other choices? Just the two. Okay, so we already have one for these guys. We don't use that many. So kicking that up, this guy's gotten to work. He's making more of these, which should give us enough planks real soon to be able to handle this. Though we may be fulfilling all of the bed orders first. That's possible. They're on, you know, an older blueprint waiting their, their turn. So really we just need to get a whole bunch of logs hauled in. Which isn't that hard to do. Oh wait, it's daytime right now. Let's take that peek. Did any more deer spawn in? Boy, I wish I could zoom out further. We have the one deer left. Let's go ahead and just... Get that one done. Turn you into venison. I don't think the game spawns anything else in. So that means we're going after wild boars next. Then we're going after elephants. And I have heard stories about <laughs> going after elephants and not coming back. So, <laughs> yeah, no other deer. All right. So apparently animals do not spawn back in yet. So we are not available. So everything that we're making right now must be going to oh, export pallets. Where? I can't click, unfortunately. Where do I have more wooden export? Oh, that means places like this. Okay. Let's kick you down a notch. <clears throat> you same thing. Turn all these down. Oh, we're building them too. 
Okay, so let's clear these out. That's two exports, and let's put in stone exports instead. Right there and there, and these as well. And that's for this. Not sure what we needed those for, but we'll do that. And you are an import. Same thing. Come on now. Import right there. Okay. And let's kick this whole area up just to get it going. All right. You, we're already taking you down. There's more lumber there. Take you down. So we're not hauling to those immediately. You are also import pallet for, for planks. Okay. <clears throat> and that gets these built by a stonemason <clears throat> instead of by a carpenter. So be aware of that. If you have stonemasons that are available but no carpenters available, be thinking about what you're building items with. All right, so what have we... Oh, we have plate mail. Okay. Uh, we need a place to haul. We did. Okay. So let's say no tools. On both of these. Just haul weapons over here. And you... What's that? Oh, the deer. Okay. And these are all the armors. Okay. But not orc. We will sell any orc stuff. Which apparently isn't going to happen right now. Uh, there we go. Boom, boom. We are 1.30 in the morning and we're still battling. I'm impressed. That's Magna Hild. Drinking from River. Oh, here's the rest of them. Where did you guys come from? <laughs> Everybody else just said, uh-uh, I'm out of here. I need a drink. But this got done. Okay, and that's set to highest priority. All right, you guys go get drinks and you guys go to bed. Where are we? Right over there. Okay, so you still don't have any wood planks. So let's get a whole bunch of trees chopped down, a whole bunch of logs hauled in, and get that accomplished. We're going to have to overcome all the bed orders, apparently. Bed construction. Let's do all of them. Carpenter's gonna or woodcutter's gonna be busy tomorrow. Uh, we are summer, eighth day of summer essentially. Okay, I'm just looking at at our fields over here. So carrot plants, seventy-two percent, sixty percent corn, seventy percent. We're actually going to harvest these guys this time because of our irrigation. First year we planted corn, by middle of summer we were probably 30-40%. So we're, we're doing a lot better. Need gears. So do we sell all the gears or are they just not getting hauled over? They are in this guy. And probably same issue. Old pallet is not releasing them. Yeah, let's do that. So import-export. Well, just the import for now. Let's get rid of this guy and rebuild him. And that'll release these guys to be moved up there. So I have a feeling a lot of my old import-export pallets probably need to be rebuilt. Not a task that's going to be fun to do. you got to do one or two at a time, or you forget that you did it, and then suddenly you wonder why nothing's working because all of your pallets are gone. So I'm going to have to babysit that whole process. Anyway, and how far we're going to continue with this map, I don't know. We've almost got all the things built, which was important to show how everything works. Then we'll experience an orc raid one of these days. We'll maybe get to where we hunt a wild boar and maybe even an elephant. So we'll get a decent little army going. Then we'll see what what's worth continuing or... You know, once I get this home renovation done, maybe that's the time to start a brand new map and new adventure and, and uh, you know, something that's not got parts in it from so many updates ago. It might be well worth it. This is flashing. I'm, I'm kind of stalling here, waiting for someone to walk down here and bust this up. I don't know who that would be. 
Collecting Sycamore Plain. You're delivering. I'm thinking that that's going to be... There we are, Osman, a stonemason. Because it's... It's a wood pallet. I can't tell. It looks like boards. Oh, but he is also a carpenter. Yeah, so next time, don't mix carpenters and stonemasons. Okay, so that is a export. Stone. Build you again. High priority. Meanwhile, these guys, one of them is assigned to a selling pallet. So that should get moved at a... I'm probably not going to see the priority because I already... Hello. There. Am I going to see that priority? I'm going to see that priority. I don't know why I'm seeing that priority. The gear is here. Except for that. Where am I? Here. This is set for that. So what is the orange? It's the piece of wood. It probably goes to that, to a door. That is a very low priority. I don't know what that goes to. Huh. <laughs> I have no idea. Something here is calling for a board. Well, I guess I can click on it, huh? Um, you. Plank is being called to a fur import pallet at very low priority. Something like these guys? No, they got built. What other import pallets are still waiting to be built, but it was so unimportant that I just took the priority way down. And you guys still have not been built. Okay, well, we got logs starting to come in now. We do. Have you been assigned? You have been assigned. Okay. Logs are coming in now. Where do I have another wood import pallet <clears throat> waiting to be built that is a very low priority? I don't see any. These have all been built. These are stone. You have been built and you're waiting for arrows to be made because we have no arrow heads because that's set down so low that they're ignoring it. Okay, that should get arrowheads going again. All right. Where is there another you? Your your stone. There's none over here, there's none over there. The kitchen doesn't have any. I don't know where that is. I can't click on it and have it take me to it. So that one's just going to be a mystery for a while. Yeah. We're probably needing to turn this episode off, aren't we? Hate that part of the game of the of the of the episode, turning it off. <laughs> I could play this long into the evening. You are this guy, and you have everything now. So we have made our knife apparently, and could make some more of those. We still have one ten ingot left. We're calling for that. Let's use that while we can. All right, so waiting, waiting. You coming in are going to be leather. And what else? Just leather to make water skins or leather armor. Okay, so coming out with water skins at the highest priority. And leather armor less so. I want to get the water skins on them as much as I can so they don't have to run off to the river to go get a drink of water. Sycamore plate assigned to a sycamore import pallet. Yeah, I don't know where that is. We're running? We are. Year 3, day 19. Second to the last day of summer. Did the seeds get hauled away? They did. So that did finally translate to it. Corn is right there. Corn will get planted again next spring. And more bread sitting outside. So apparently somebody is grabbing something to eat and not eating it. Yeah, that's that's odd. Okay, but our, our bread serving table is full. 
we have more bread in there we have lots of dough over here so we could set up what I had talked about right here in fact maybe this is the place to do it yeah so let's set up mining real quick and I'd say something like that to there let's set up a little kitchen area and then oh off of here we'll get into maybe a place for them to sleep Maybe just a hallway. We'll, do, we'll give them bedrooms. Eh, we could do that. Training up our hammers. Good. Um, what did we do? There it is. We brought our hemp down. We've filled our redding tank. And we are now 100% done with our hemp bundle. Which is now going to get moved into here as hemp fiber. And a backup one just to make sure it happens. Which then goes into a loom, which is still waiting for more planks. Alright, what are you doing? Do we have logs coming in? We have plenty of logs coming in. Do we have planks being built? We need to get this guy... Where am I? We are built. We need to get this guy built. Right here. Five out of seven. But... This is built now. Kick you up. Our leather worker also does brewing, brewing on purpose. Nope, came that way. Already skilled up, even though we've never had these before. Okay, so Siv, you're up. Now, does Siv also do hauling? Does. Okay. So we got to kick this up to the highest in order to overcome hauling that is set to the highest somewhere. Okay, we have five deer leather ready to go. This must be sieve. Yeah, sieve grab some leather. Boom. Now we have a water skin, a deer water skin. Five of them, great. Well, at least potential for five. And you just hauled over some more bones. We do have 50 arrows made. Need to get those arrows hauled at a higher priority to here so we can get more arrows made. Good. Okay, so this is probably for next episode. We've got bread working. We've got food. It had worked. It had been replaced. It's still got to be babysat. It's still resetting at these lower priorities. So I've got to keep an eye on that or we're going to have starving people and not realize why. Which is a danger in this game. Now I need to fill all these walls back in and rebuild these bedrooms. And, and then once that's done we'll get the other one set for mining. But I can do some of that off screen. So I think we're kind of done for the night. We did not get our attack yet. If it's even coming in. It may be that the attack itself is random. Whether it's going to happen. But with that, I think I'm going to call this one done. Thanks for watching, folks, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.